Hello everybody, welcome to another cardistry tutorial where I am going to tutorial you What am I saying? Anyway, <laughs> this is a sort of intermediate, I think, tutorial It's hard to judge the difficulty of your own moves, I think I've said that before, and it really is um, But I think it's harder than Pincho and Lego Love and stuff But there are definitely other moves like double ATM, if that's what it's called, um, which are harder. But anyway, hopefully you enjoy this. If you do, go check out my other card through tutorials. I've got a couple more on the channel. Um, and look out for my cardistry solo, which is coming out in about three weeks. This is sort of in the run up to that. So I thought, what can I do to sort of post something? Because I've been working on the cardistry solo, so uh, not really been posting any sort of new moves or anything like that. So I thought I'll make this tutorial because it's a cool move that I've been doing for ages. Uh, I made this a long time ago and I really like it. So yeah, been doing it for a few years and I think you guys will enjoy it too, hopefully. So have a good learning experience. Um, and yeah, I will see you in the next video. I'll see you in, like, in a minute, I guess, because you're going to watch the tutorial. Okay, so uh, this is going to be my tutorial for clockwork, which is a combo move that looks like this. So it's done in the right hand, or whichever is the hand you don't do one-handed cuts with. And it basically looks like that. So it's really versatile, you can use it with a bunch of other combo moves, and uh, I do it all the time, so I thought I may as well teach it. Uh, so this is how it starts, okay? Uh, you use your thumb and your middle to come over and grab these corners. Um, you want about this many cards, it doesn't matter too much, but this is you know, what I'd recommend. Um, and here's how you start the move. You use your index finger to split this packet into about half, right? So about that many cards, right? Just that. Uh, but it, it doesn't matter too much, right? Like I say. So once you split that off, um, you're going to pull it back like that until it gets to this position. So. The corner of this packet will then be sort of lodged in between your ring and your middle finger, okay? So you can hold this quite comfortably. When you're in this position, you're going to turn your hand over like that, just twist it, whilst your index finger pulls this packet like you would do, you know, like a corner spin or whatever. So spin that round, and then in this position, you're basically going to keep pushing that index finger and spinning that packet, and this one sort of flips open like this, right? So now you're in the perfect position to grab that with your index finger. So now you're in this position here, okay? Um, when you're here, you're then going to move this nine of clubs packet over like this, okay? So it's currently like behind this corner, and then you flip it over so it's there. Um, then your that same index that we talked about before is... Uh, I say that like there are multiple index fingers on one hand. That's not true. Anyway, um, you use the index to... Uh, sort of contact this short edge here and spin it. You should be able to spin that like so and then it ends up like that. So now your uh, pinky and your thumb grab the corners of this packet here and you're going to use your index to spin that like so. Okay. So now you're in this position um, and this is where you sort of close the move um, you sort of, you sort of just use gravity to help you with this bit but you're basically just keeping contact with your middle finger but sliding it along your thumb and using your pinky and your index to sort of square everything up so it's in this position and now if this was done with one hand cuts in the other hand you would then close it by dragging it along uh, here like that and then you can just flip it down and then close it however you want. Uh, so I'll go over that one more time. Split it, get lodged in between those two fingers, twist the hand as you spin that round, pull that over the corner, grab it here, index spins that on top, like so. And also note the sort of movement of these two fingers, the pinky is now sort of out here. Your pinky and your thumb contact this you spin it underneath there 
you use your index and your pinky here, index here, to sort of square that up. Okay, as your thumb sort of loses a uh, grip on it. And then you close it. Um, so one more time, except uh, this time I'll bring your attention to something different, what I was talking about before, which is the movement of sort of these fingers. They sort of have to uh, go up like that and then grab it again. Um, and that's when your pinky comes back to the corner. But uh, I don't know, it's difficult to explain, but I'm sure you, you, know, you can see what I'm talking about there. Um, so that's how that works. Uh, you can you can end this in different ways. You know, after you've done the move, you can then see that you're in this position, which is perfect to go into Pincho or whatever other one-handed uh, you know combo move you want to do. Um, so yeah, that's how to do clockwork, and hope you enjoyed. I decided to record an outro. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like I said earlier, if you want to look at my other tutorials on my channel, go ahead. Um, but for now. I will see you in the next one, which will be at some point. I don't know. It'll be after my cartridge solo. I'm also releasing demos for some of the moves in the solo, so look out for that. Where's the off button? Oh, there it is. Okay.